The event in St. Albans this weekend to raise money awareness about suicide prevention. NBC 5's Kristen Ray sat down with two parents today about how they're hoping to support other families going through the same grief. I think his legacy is, is, a, is a good reason that we continue to do it. Mm -hmm. Athlete, brother, and friend. A.J. Holshyster of St. Albans enjoyed fishing, boating, and being there for the people he loved. When somebody needed a hug, he knew when you just wanted to be quiet. He just had this aura about him that was, it was comforting. Yep. His parents say A.J.'s life was so full that after he died by suicide at the age of 18, they wanted to celebrate him in a big way. So they created the Afterglow Music Festival. Keeping his memory alive and um, making his life and what happened trying to make something good of it. And to help other families experiencing the same type of loss, this year's festival will be held in honor of Avery Valancourt of Venusburg, a 19-year-old artist, environmentalist, and social advocate who also lost her life to suicide in 2020. It's been devastating. I mean, I know that that's a loss I'll never get over. Both young Vermonters would have turned 21 this month. They were born in the same hospital within 48 hours of one another. Avery's mom says the Afterglow Foundation has helped her grapple with loss they all now share. It's an unfortunate bond that we have. It's a club that none of us want to be in, um, but this kind of loss can be very isolating. Northwest Counseling and Support Services says the whole Scheister family is helping destigmatize the conversation around suicide. Dib brings this conversation to everyone in our community. So by being a part of a music festival, you're actually being a part of suicide intervention. Anybody that has lost someone to suicide, we welcome them at Afterglow to be a part of what we're doing. In St. Albans, Kristen Ray, NBC5 News. The Afterglow Festival will be in at Hardick Recreation Area in St. Albans from 12 to 8 on Saturday, and tickets will be available at the event. If you or someone you know needs help or someone to talk to, call the number on your screen. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.